Of course, this is part of uh, Terry Pratchett's vast Discworld series, more than 40 books, I believe. As I've said in previous reports, I picked this up as part of a uh, large batch of more than 30 books that I found on sale for 50 cents apiece at my local library's uh, thrift shop. If you're not visiting your local library and looking at what's available in their thrift shop, you're probably missing a lot of great deals like this. Being unfamiliar with Terry Pratchett's Discworld and having never read Terry Pratchett at all, of course I was uh, concerned about where to start with this series. So I looked at this chart and I looked for either starting places or standalone books. And this was uh, a little bit of both. So I picked this one. Anyway, it is about a young man who is next in line to be Pharaoh. But he doesn't necessarily want to follow in his father's footsteps, and he wants more of an education than previous pharaohs have gotten. So he moves to the big city and studies to be an assassin, a ninja. <laughs> it's a unique uh, idea, and it's a very funny, very entertaining book. One of my concerns about picking up this series, other than the fact that it was such a part of such a large series, and I'm always reluctant to pick up a book that's part of uh, a series, because I know it's, it's going to take me a great deal of time to read even one book, much less many. But I'm also concerned about books and about authors that are intended to be funny, because I usually find them not funny. Um, I, I find that they're they're trying too hard, and their grasp of humor and of humorous language is not terribly effective, but none of those concerns were well-founded with this book. This is very well written. Terry Pratchett has a great uh, grasp of humor and the language necessary for being humorous without overdoing it and without sounding like he's trying too hard. In other words, he has that Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy ethos about him. I hardly think I need to recommend Terry Pratchett in Discworld, but uh, this being my first experience with it, uh, I assume there are others who, who have yet to have their first experience with it, and I say go ahead. You can support 30 Second Sci-Fi and my other projects by becoming a patron. There is a link in the description below. And visit the 30 Second Sci-Fi Tumblr. That's my headquarters. In addition to my videos, I publish links and updates there every day.